Yo, Adam Saxon with Guy in a Cube, and in this Two Minute Tuesday, we are gonna look at how you can update URLs used in Power BI to redirect to resources in your organization. Whew, that was a mouthful. What this is really about is there's an update to the admin portal where you can actually update the default URLs that are used inside of Power BI. This gives you a lot of functionality to redirect folks to the right resources to get them help faster. All right, but enough of all this talking, let's head over to my computer and see what this looks like. So we're in Power BI, and normally if we go to the help icon up on the top, you will see a bunch of items that have links out to it. So getting started, learn, community, get help, so on and so forth, right? Now, if I select getting started, that's gonna take me out to docs.microsoft.com by default. But what if you, from your organization's perspective, you have your internal wiki or you have your own internal help page where you can get support or help for those folks internally before they go out to a Microsoft property? This is where these tenant URLs come into play. So to adjust this, you've gotta be either a global admin of your tenant or a Power BI service administrator so you can get to the admin portal. But then we're gonna to go to the gear icon. We're gonna come down to the admin portal and then under tenant settings, you're gonna see this item that says publish get help information. By default, it's gonna be disabled, but we can enable that and then supply whatever URLs that we want for these items. So the training documentation, discussion form, so maybe you've got your own Slack channel or Teams channel or something of that nature that you can direct people to. Also licensing requests or help desk. So these are all items that you can go ahead and redirect folks to. You can also control it either for certain groups or your entire organization. This is actually one of the few tenant settings where I would maybe recommend that you just have it for your entire organization. But you may have a scenario where you just want it for certain security groups. Once you update these items, it'll take a little bit for it to actually update those URLs, so maybe 10 to 15 minutes. One thing that threw me off when I was doing this, so let me go back to home, I came up to the help icon, and when I hovered over the links down below, it was still showing me the go forward link from Microsoft. I was expecting that this would actually be updated to reflect the URL that I put into the admin portal, but that's not the case. So it actually did update. So if I go and select, let's go and select learn. I had put it to just go to guyinacube.com and bam, it's actually working. It went right to guyinacube.com instead of the actual default Microsoft property. And if we come up to the URL, I can come down to community and instead of it taking me to communities.powerbi.com, it's taking me to my guy in a cube URL, which is the URL that I put in. I think I misspoke earlier. The actual getting started won't get updated, so that'll always go out to the Microsoft Learn site or the, the getting started uh, items on microsoft.com. So that won't be updated, but the other items will. So learn, community, get help, so on and so forth. You can update those items. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you've got any questions, so on and so forth, you know what to do. If you like this video, be sure to hit that big thumbs up button, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome and we'll see you in the next video.